We're all guilty of wrapping ourselves in blankets securely when getting in bed after watching a horror movie, but if you haven't been in such a situation yet, we suggest you go and watch the Taiwanese movie Incantation. Apparently, fans are convinced that this new movie is actually the scariest of all. In this video, let's have a look at all the factors that make this Taiwanese film the scariest movie ever. Let's get started. So, is it actually that terrifying? Well, fans think so, and of course, they have their reasons. But even if the reasons are there, proclaiming that it's the most terrifying film made in Taiwan is quite a hefty claim. After all, it hasn't been long since another Taiwanese film titled The Sadness became a major hit when it was released in May. Anyways, we must take a look at what this film is about. So, the movie opens with Ronan speaking directly to the viewers and telling them about the curse her six-year-old daughter suffers from. Her daughter, Dodo's curse can be lifted, and they can send blessings to the girl by memorizing an insignia and chanting an incantation. And then the film tells the history behind the curse. Apparently, Ronan, her boyfriend, and his cousin had started hosting an internet channel and used to refer to themselves as Ghostbusters. Things keep going well for them until these so-called Ghostbusters end up getting into trouble with real problematic people. The film shows how the three of them go on to investigate a group of people who worship a deity called Buddha Mother. The story is unique as it keeps the viewers invested with its continuously unfolding events. So what happens is that Ronan was pregnant at the time and some seriously crazy stuff happened while they investigated those worshippers. Dodo, who is yet to be born, was cursed. And now she can see someone who she calls Batty on the ceiling of her room and often talks to herself. That's quite often a scary plot, but watching it is even scarier because of all the graphics and gory scenes. And honestly, no one wants to see a kid talking to someone who doesn't even exist. But even the goriest scenes weren't as scary as fans are mentioning. We agree that the film has its fair share of creepy stuff, but if we compare its gory scenes with films like Sinister and Train to Busan, they weren't as bloody and scary as fans described them. Or maybe the Netflix audience is just much more sensitive to such scenes. If that's so, then the hype is real, but overall, we can't really consider it the scariest movie ever. But if we talk about the plot, it's quite clever and full of twists. That's a thing we love about it, but that doesn't mean that a movie with great twists is scary. But at the same time, we can most definitely say that Incantation has everything to disturb someone, and yes, it stays stuck in mind for quite a while. Also, it's not very different from other horror movies. Here's the thing about horror movies. They tend to be monotonous. They share themes and often plot lines too, which make them all look almost the same. When we heard about Incantation and how it was getting all this hype, we were genuinely hoping for a brand new idea and some innovation in it. But honestly, even though the film's beginning was pretty unique, it's pretty evident that it offers familiar shocks to the viewers. While watching Incantation, one can feel the flawed work. First of all, the terror in the movie doesn't come from any sense of dread. Instead, it's all based on shock. From our point of view, if the producers and writers would have been able to make the dreadfulness of the story a source of horror, the film could have been much scarier. Also, from what we've noticed, it seems like they wanted the horror to occur through a first-person perspective, transitions, and the use of the video camera footage frame, and it was used almost throughout the movie. Plus, we'll have to say that the scenes consisting of any of these characteristics were actually the most effective ones. But relying only on gore to create that sense of fear is more like you're trying to shock the viewers and not scare them. Also, if you've watched the film, you must have noticed that it uses different plot twists and characters that are frequently used in other horror movies. For example, the use of found footage and a possessed child or more who keep talking to themselves and seeing things. Not just that, the film doesn't depict Ronan's situation properly either. Apart from the plot, the character description isn't that great. No offense intended, but they really could have done better at elaborating Ronan's character and her conflicting relationship with her daughter. The mother and daughter's relationship was supposed to provide the movie's emotional core. Throughout the film, she is shown as a troubled mother who even has the tendency to harm her daughter and others. She's often seen as an abusive parent, while the reason behind her actions is actually the curse. This means that the plot could have fleshed out her character, but instead, it only used it as a device to keep the plot going. That, we believe, was awkward as heck. Other than Ronan, some of the characters are clearly undeveloped and incomplete. If the audience had been given enough time actually emotionally to invest themselves in Ronan and her dead boyfriend, the plot could have been much more effective. Not just that, but her boyfriend's family also had the potential to make the plot much more enjoyable. Also, the storyline didn't explain why these two were so eager to violate religious tradition just to make their YouTube channel famous. And it was much similar to previous Taiwanese movies too. Let's look at some other Taiwanese movies. One thing is similar in almost all of them, and that's the elements of religious practices and contemporary urban legends. These movies became a major theme after the tag-along franchise became a hit, and that's exactly the case with Incantation 2. The whole story is based on a religious possession incident that happened in Kaohsiung, in which several deities possessed six people from the same family at the same time. All they had to survive was water mixed with ashes, but it couldn't last longer than 
a month. But even though the branding was done in a significantly nice way, the story that the movie showed had literally nothing to do with the source material. In fact, the only thing that was actually similar to the source material was the use of Buddhist imagery and chants. Also, the rumors about it being based on a true story aren't true. Another factor that helped hype the movie was the rumor about the story being based on true events. Well, let us be clear about it. Incantation is anything but a true story. The found footage that viewers saw in the film was actually fake and didn't exist in reality. And it should be clear that they only created the footage to make the movie a bit more scarily authentic, but never intended to let the people believe that it was something that actually happened in real life. All the people you saw on the screen were actors and no one was cursed in real life. Not just that, as we said earlier, the movie doesn't even resemble its source material. And if we look into the incident, there's barely any news about it too. So we can't really say if that ever happened or not. So if you're scared that you'll be possessed by some deity while watching Incantation, here's some reassurance. It's just a film, and you should enjoy it while you still can. But it does give a good dose of excitement to the viewers. Even though there are several flaws in the movie that make it not the scariest movie Taiwan ever made, we'll have to say that it does have its own merits. Some of the most unique elements of Incantation are embedded in the style of his opening, and how the beginning comes back when they conclude the story. Even if we can't call it an unforgettably scary movie, it does give the viewers a great dose of excitement and shock. But the overuse of what we now know as the trite elements make it one of the forgettable ones. We have to say, they had all the ingredients to turn it into an innovative horror film, but they chose not to experiment. Anyways, we believe that the fans who've been going on and on about Incantation had their reasons. It can be their love for contemporary Taiwanese horror, or maybe this much horror is enough to keep them up at night. Well, if it's the latter, these fans should start finding good comedies or rom-coms because, clearly, they can't watch real horror movies. Setting everything aside, our conclusion is that the film isn't worth more than one watch, but that really doesn't mean that you shouldn't watch it at all. We're just saying that it definitely isn't the scariest Taiwanese movie. They have done better than this in the past, and much more is yet to come. What do you think about Incantation, and did it scare you the way everyone claims? Do let us know in the comments below, and before you leave, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos soon.